but my means of transportation to school today was very different. I rode a bike. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired though. But I have this huge box full of goodies that I've compiled that you guys have sent me from Amazon for my wish list. And I helped my friend over at her house, which was a great time. <laughs> we were covered in dust. You, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. If I could show you, I'd hope that you could see All the possibilities, there could be a place for you and me And under the stars, you pack up your car, cause you're going morning everybody thanks for um, making it through that long intro today my name is Katie I am going into my sixth year of teaching I will be teaching third grade this next year in the state of Florida I'm very out of breath but I'm glad you're here for a day in my life vlog today okay guys so let me get my water before we start this long clip holy moly so morning recap i got up early this morning at like 6 45 to make david quiche and make his lunch before going to work the quiche was delicious i got a different kind of crust this time from publix and it was really good and then i added the onions as you saw um and i mentioned that in my last day in my life vlog that we've been really into quiche lately had my coffee read my bible did all those things and then i needed to come up to school and the reason i wanted to come up to school today was to give you guys a little preview of the sponsor of today's video. So I wanted to give a big shout out to Caesar for sponsoring today's video. They were very kind and sent me a document camera to use in my classroom. It's a document camera and a scanner all in one. So let me show it to you and tell you guys about it. Caesar is a technology company that makes a lot of different products like document scanners and other gadgets that are aimed to make modern workplace environments more efficient. They sent me this versatile three-in-one document camera and web scanner that's called the Fancy S Pro. It features a 4K HD webcam with a 180 degree mirror rotation button and it has flexible multi-jointed arms which makes it easily adjustable so you can show things at different angles. The design is also super portable. You can bend the flexible arm in half and take it anywhere with you. I use document cameras in my classroom every day to show worksheets or different practice problems on the board for my students to work on at their seat. So this is definitely a device that I use on a daily basis. I would even dare say hourly basis in my classroom. The Caesar products use a Caesar software and it contains many useful features as well. You can use a digital zoom from there. You can annotate your image, change the tone and a lot more. It's also the platform that you can use to scan what you are showing to save it as a high quality download. 
This would be perfect for if you were working on a review in class and you had a student who was absent, you could easily take a picture of the completed review to send to their parents so they don't fall behind and you can support the parents at home. I also really love that there are light settings on this document camera. It has a three level adjustable fill light and all you have to do is click the button to adjust the brightness. This is super helpful because sometimes we like to work in the dark with just the natural light from the windows coming in, but it makes it more difficult to see what I put on the document camera. So this is a great feature to have. So as you can see, document cameras are a must for teaching in my classroom. If you don't have one for yours and you wanna check out the Caesar Fancy Pro, I have all of the product information and links in the description box below for you guys to check out. And again, thank you so much to Caesar for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Okay, so that's why I came up to school today, and that, and I have some other things that I want to do in my classroom for a little bit, um, but my means of transportation to school today was very different. I rode a bike, as you saw, <laughs> you saw me, like, wheeling it out from my house, um, and that's why I'm so flustered and, like, red in the face right now. I don't live far from my school. It's a 15-minute bike ride, but I've never biked it before. Also, I don't bike. I got this bike for free because we're helping friends like move into their house um, and we were in their garage cleaning shelves and the neighbors just set it out on the side of the road and David and I have been wanting to get bikes he's had a bike for a long time his family loves biking so we've biked on their bikes my parents have them and we bike at the beach on occasion I'm talking like twice per year right and I was like if that's free we should like snag it like let's get it so he went and talked to them and they were like yeah we're just getting rid of old things that we don't want um so you're welcome to have anything let me see if i can move and change the sliding is this oh wow is that better i feel like that's better anyways um so we took the bike we pumped up the tires and i tested it yesterday and just went around our little block and i was so tired or like i wasn't tired but i was like dang i can already feel that in my legs but it was fun and so today i was like let's bike to school. Why not? It'll be great exercise. And it was something on my to-do list for today. Like I had a to-do list. I'll put it right here of all the things that I wanted to get done. Um, and going on a bike ride was one of them. So I was like, I can kill two birds with one stone if I bike to school. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired though. And it's really, really hot. And the air is on in our classrooms, but not like on full blast because it's summer and there's no summer school right now. So it feels better in here, but it's still really hot. Y'all it's Florida in July and I biked to school. Um, and then like my bike to the school too, like the beginning is this nice downhill stretch and I knew that was gonna be really nice. Then we've got like this big flat portion and then it's like an uphill and then flat. So I was like, oh, the very ending is really gonna suck. And it did, I had to like walk my bike for a little bit, which is fine. Um, so the way back, I'll probably walk it to like the crosswalk and then I'll bike that what was uphill this time will be downhill. And then I'll be able to go through the flat, but the uphill, like going back to the house is probably bigger than the uphill coming to school was. So I'm probably gonna have to get off and walk it because my legs are jello, jello. It also doesn't help that I was carrying my backpack. So I had my backpack with my laptop in it and I also had my tripod in it and this big clunker full of water because I knew I was gonna need water when I got here, but it was heavy. So it's very different than just biking with me because I mean, I don't know, it's just, it's heavier when you have a heavy backpack on. So hopefully I'll drink a good bit of this water or I might pour, if I don't finish it while I'm here, I might pour some of it out because um, that will be lighter to go back home and then I'll just fill it when I get home. But we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that, we'll get better. It's really great exercise. If you like biking, let me know. Um, I'm usually, I used to be a runner. You guys probably know that if you've followed my channel for a while, I've never really been a biker. So I was like, learning curve, Katie, it's okay that it kicked your butt. That means it's good exercise. My heart was pumping and it's still pumping. So if I'm a little out of breath, that's why. And that's also why I'm sitting on the floor because I didn't even want to stand to intro this vlog for you guys, so that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So I've shown you my Caesar document camera. That's one of the things that I got from my classroom that I'm really excited about, but I've also gotten a lot of things from my Amazon storefront. So I want to kind of do a little unboxing of those and show them to you. I think I'll move into a chair because um, my Amazon stuff is on my table over there. So I think I'll move over to my teacher table and sit in a chair and show you guys everything that y'all have sent me from Amazon and give some shout outs. All right, I'm over by my teacher table. It's not in its usual spot because they waxed the tile and did all those things. <sighs> I'm out of breath just from sliding these chairs around. Y'all, out of shape. Okay, so 
please pardon the chairs because they're all flipped up on the table as well. But I have this huge box full of goodies that I've compiled that you guys have sent me from Amazon from my wish list. So first off, thank you to everybody who sent something. If you're ever looking for ideas for your classroom or you're wanting to contribute to my classroom, my wish list is always linked below and I also have my Amazon storefront always linked below so you can get ideas for your classroom and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for sending things. It means so much that you guys watch, that you guys comment, that you contribute, and that you're willing to contribute for my third graders. And um, that just means a lot to me. So without further ado, um, the first thing that's in here is, let's see, I had all of these, like a lot of them were books. So I was stapling, not stapling, I was taping the gift receipt onto the book so I would remember who gave me each one. But of course, the ones on top are missing that gift receipt. Okay, first one, I got a copy of Holes, which is such a great book. Oh my goodness, I love it, and a great movie. And this is from one of my teammates, Jen, who's gonna be teaching for her first year of teaching here at my school in third grade. So she's gonna be a part of my team. So thank you so much, Jen, for donating a book to my classroom. I'm so excited for that. Um, Y'all, these are great. I have sticky notes. These are from Amanda. I love sticky notes. I use sticky notes all the time. And I love this pack from Amazon because it's a lot of different colors. So I have some sticky notes from last year um, and I let students use them too. So I kind of go through them fast, but I'm really excited to like replenish my collection and have plenty of them for the beginning of the year. So thank you, Amanda, for the sticky notes. Um, another book, now I'm really excited about this one, is, let me see if I have the, Yes. So this is from Elizabeth. She said, I recently found your channel and I'm binging your videos. I'm currently in August, 2022. I teach third grade as well. I love this book and so did my students. Thanks for your awesome content from Elizabeth. It's Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library. And I put this on my list because this summer I've been doing some summer reading. I've already read two books. I read The One and Only Ivan, which I had not read before, and I had it in my classroom library. library so I was like, I'm going to read that. And then the second one I read was Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library, and I borrowed it from my team leader because she loves this book and reads it with her class. So I've been trying. One of my goals this summer is to read some more books like myself. So I have different read aloud options for next year. I don't know if I shared this in a vlog. I think I did at the end of the year, but I really want to kind of up my read aloud game. I had some books this last year that my kids really loved, like we did their third grade angels and fourth grade rats beginning of the year and end of the year um and then our favorite ones that we did we read the bfg and that one was so much fun we read tale of despero which i think was like overall everybody's favorite read of the whole year and we read wonder so those are all like three really unique ones and then we read some other ones like um freckle juice and a ramona and Beezus, and i like those or super fudge i like those all right but i feel like kids can read those when they get to that level right and if they're all kind of the same they're like the older sibling young, younger sibling dynamic and so i wanted to get some more unique books on my list to read to them so that's why i've been kind of reading these there was another one we read this year oh the lemonade war which is still the older sister like older sibling younger sibling dynamic but it was really fun and it kind of goes with economics when we teach that so anyways, I've been trying to like up my reading game and this one was one that I read from my team teacher. So now I have a copy from my library. So it was a very long story, but thank you, Elizabeth, for this book. I'm so excited. All right, another one that I got, and this one was wrapped, which was so nice. Um, this is from Eileen. It says, I hope the kids enjoy this as much as I did. Have a wonderful summer. And I haven't even unwrapped. It came in this beautiful gift wrap from Amazon and it's all tissue papered up and I haven't even taken it, taken it out of the tissue paper yet, but I can see what it is. Um, let me open it. You guys, it's because of Winn-Dixie. I love because of Winn-Dixie. So again, another great read aloud option that I'll have for this school year that I'm thrilled about. And Eileen also sent this. Oh, that's loud. A battleship which is so exciting I have one like really old battleship set but after I did um, I mentioned this in my vlogs towards the end of the year I did like a class battleship review for math and it took a long time and it was very intense and they got like really into it and very competitive but it was fun and like some of my students in their memory books they were like I'm gonna remember the battleship forever so 
when we did games at the end of the year, then when I pulled out Battleship, they were all about it, but I only had one set. And so they were all like, I wanna play, I wanna play. And we just didn't have time for all of them to play. So having two Battleship sets is going to be great because I hope to use that review like maybe more than just once a year, but also we use games more than once a year. So that'll be great. So thank you, Eileen, for the book and for the game. All right, you guys, um, I have two other books and I'm looking at it and I'm almost positive they came with, gosh, I thought this was all organized and that I had all the receipts where they were supposed to be, but now some of them have shifted in the box. So I can't remember. This could be from somebody and it didn't have a, like a gift note, or it could be some, from somebody I mentioned earlier. So I'm so sorry. They're a little mixed up. Fourth grade rats, which again, I borrowed this from my team teacher. So it's really exciting to have my own copy to read because we did third grade angels. That was our first read aloud at the beginning of the year. And we did fourth grade rats at the end. So thank you. Thank you to if it was somebody I mentioned earlier or somebody who I don't have the receipt for, thank you so much for this one. And The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane as well. Can you see that there's a theme? Um, so again, if this was from somebody earlier, thank you so much. I have like the, the rest of the receipts and like the Amazon slips at home and I think they just got mixed up in the box, but I'm so excited to add so many great books to my collection. That's four, wait, no, five. Yeah, because Holes is right here. Like, look at this, you guys, five great titles to add to my library. I'm so excited. And then the last thing is from my friend Shelby. Um, I know Shelby from Alabama, I'm running out of breath again. And she sent me this right here. She said, I hope you have another fantastic year. I have one of these in my classroom and I knew that you had to have it too. When I saw it on your list, there's a bug at the bottom of that box, y'all. Mm, we're just gonna ignore it. We're going to ignore it. Anyways, <laughs> so she sent me a little like over the door sports hoop and I'm so excited. Actually, I don't think it goes over the door, does it? I think you just, oh yeah, yeah. You have to like put it together with the hooks, but I'm so excited to use this, especially in the month of March. And again, I'm hoping to like up my review game, game <laughs> this year because Battleship was so fun. So I'm thinking maybe doing more of those review type games at the end of chapters in math would be a lot of fun. So that'll be really great to incorporate. So thank you so much, Shelby, for getting that for my classroom. Um, there are other things that I want to do. I need to go look at like my checklist of things that I wanted to do over the summer because I'm going to stay up here for not forever, but for a good bit because I want to um, cool myself down before I attempt to bike back home. And I have a feeling once I bike back home, I'm just going to be for the day. Like I'm going to be down for the count and just chilling at the house. All right, let me like pull out my computer and we're gonna have a little produ productivity, productive work session. First, I'm gonna put these things away and I'm gonna pull out my computer and just see what I can do. Maybe I'll change my calendar from May to August. Maybe I'll work on my um, ELA skill cards that I said I wanted to make. I'll just do a couple things. So I'll update you guys in a little bit, but let's have a little mini productive time lapse. Hope you feel the same. All right, I finished most everything I wanted to do, so we're about to bike back home. Wish me luck. All right, I made it home on the bike. I feel like the bike ride home was more successful than my bike ride there, but I was still very tired. It took me a while to cool down, but I'm all cooled down now. Um, I just sat down. I was looking at some Prime Day deals 
for rugs for the living room, but I haven't found one that I like just yet. So I was messing around with that for a little bit. And now I'm going to go help my friend work on sanding the ceilings at their house. So that's what the next part of my day is looking like. everyone let me get a sip of coffee real quick and then we'll chat also do i need to move this camera up a smidge maybe that should be better <clears throat> oh all right so it is the next day in the morning i did not come back and like check in with you guys last night so i was like let me just go over how my day ended yesterday and then i showed you a little bit of my morning this morning um so after school i did a bunch of stuff at school and then i came home and I helped my friend over at her house. We are sanding their ceilings, which was a great time. <laughs> we were covered in dust. And I mean like covered in dust because um, the boys skimmed it with drywall compound. We They've scraped popcorn ceilings. We've, scra we've scraped it. Then they skimmed it with drywall joint compound. And then yesterday we were sanding stuff because um, they're trying to get it ready and prepped to paint. And so after I was done, that was the only other thing that was on my to-do list for Tuesday. Um, so she was like, will you come with me and help? And I was like, yes, I've done everything else that I need to do. So, um, we were there until about nine 30 last night. She and I sanded for a long time by ourselves until the boys got off work. And then we went and picked them up dinner and then still kept sanding and doing stuff. So they're trying to get it prepped and ready to paint, which is really exciting. Um, been there, done that and didn't get a t-shirt type of thing. Cause David and I <laughs> scraped a bunch. Um, and we did do some skimming on the ceiling, but we hired somebody to come do a lot of the skimming too. Cause we had some patches in the living room, like covering skylights that we could, couldn't do on our own. But now David's like, now that I've watched him, he feels like he could do it, um, the way he did, but we just didn't have the knowledge or the skill to do that on our own, um, successfully. So anyways, um, it's been fun getting to help them with their house a year later because they helped us with a lot of painting and stuff. So we're like returning the favor there, which has been a blast. Um, but it's also been very exhausting. So today, this morning, I just woke up um, a little bit later than yesterday because yesterday I woke up early to make the quiche. So today I just got up, started reheating the quiche, made David's coffee, made my coffee. We just ate breakfast together because we're actually going out of town later today. Um, he is speaking at like a conference, which is really cool. He's doing a presentation. And so we're going out of town for that presentation this afternoon. So this morning when I got up, I was like, okay, it's time to do some of the chores that I started yesterday or neglected yesterday, like the dishwasher. So I had to unload the dishwasher while I was making breakfast and kind of cleaned out the fridge and I'm starting laundry as you saw. Um, so I just moved that over to the dryer because I've got to do all that laundry before I can pack my things. So that's kind of what this morning looked like. He and I sat down, he ran through his presentation with me. He just left to work to do some things before we leave this afternoon. So that's kind of what our, whatever day of the week this is, Wednesday, I think, what our Wednesday is looking like. So all of that to say, I think I'm going to close the vlog off here because we are now into the next day and it was supposed to be a day in my life vlog. So you got a little bonus content there. 
Um, I will say that when I was up in my classroom yesterday, I noticed that the floors were looking kind of clean and I had a coworker there. She said she's going to start setting up her furniture soon. So that means I am going to start setting up my furniture soon. So hopefully the next vlog that I have for you guys is kind of like a classroom setup. And by classroom setup, I mean literally just setting things up for the beginning of the year because everything's already in my classroom and it looks exactly the same. Um, so I'll just be like putting desks together and starting to prep for me, the teacher and all of those fun things that I kind of want to get a jump start on before we have our in-service days because I know those will be busy. Um, and I know I'll get stuff done on those days too, but it's good to get like a good head start and get a plan. Like if I have my plan for Meet the Teacher, then I can use my in-service time to make copies, etc. But that's all I'm going to say about that because it'll probably be my next vlog and I don't want to ramble. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned earlier, there's more content coming for you guys. Um, so I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next couple videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.